Check this out, guys. Oh, it is July 28th, and uh, just woke up. This is what my hair looks like if I go to sleep right after I shower. But I'm going to fix it, so here we go. Ready? One, two, ooh, and there it is. Check it out. Whoa. It's more, uh, more tame now, more tame now. So anyways, let's get this day of eating started off right. So I'm going to show you exactly what I'm going to have right off in the bat. Actually, in the morning, I don't have anything. So um, today's a, right now I'm at 2,300 calories and my weight barely fluctuates. It has been dropping pretty consistently unless I go up in sodium all of a sudden. But anyways, in the morning, I don't eat anything. Uh, I just take creatine. This is one of the supplements that I use pretty much year round. Every day, you just take like a vitamin, just take some creatine. It looks like freaking sand and it feels like sand, which is pretty gross, but you know, whatever. So this, scoop of this. It's just a, a one like teaspoon. Hey. And I just drink it like this. I don't like to do anything elaborate with it, just cook water in it. Yeah. So I got to sleep a little late last night, so I'm feeling a little tired, and I found this rare item in the 7-Eleven near my place yesterday. Check it out. Holy moly. The white monster. This is the zero calorie. Zoom in. Oh. Zero calorie monster. It's a pretty rare item in Japan. I've like never seen it until yesterday, and it only at the 7-Eleven near my house. So, uh, is this one that's called in America Energy Ultra? I have no idea, but I'm gonna drink this and yeah. I got 10 11 now. This is gonna be a breakfast bag of barbecue plus, plus protein chips. 120 calories, 2 grams of fat, 5 carbs, and. 21 proteins. So this, and then for funsies, fun, fun food for breakfast. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Funwadi pancake. Mango. It's all messed up because I put it in my bag and, like, you know, shift it around and stuff, but it's like mango pieces. I open it up. Look at that. Oh. Not looks like more like a cake than a pancake, but you know, it's pretty good. Macros on this thing. Oh my gosh, they're down here. 307 calories, 5.7 protein, 15 fat, 37.2 carbs. So this will be a breakfast. Bam. I already finished this. That was actually really good because it's been a while. This, this. And that's it for breakfast. Alright, 10.40. Pre-workout. About to go workout. And as you know, or may not know, I like to have sweets before working out. So here we go. Caram caramel, it's like caramel rich, whatever. And uh, this whole thing of these little caramel cracker, cookie, I don't know, whatever. It's only, <clears throat> it's only, can you see this? Uh, 168 calories. 1.3 protein, 9.6 fat, and 19 carbs. It's like no carbs at all, so. I'm gonna eat this whole thing right now, and then take a little 20 minute break or something, and then go work out. This, you get all, you get all of these. Get yeah, all of them, not just not half of them. All of them for 168 calories. That's pretty amazing. I don't know how they do it. Oh, look at that! Oh, oh. Only when I don't need a pre-workout. Sometimes I take this. It's just like a, a kind of like a weaker 
I kind of use it like a, as a weaker pre-workout. It kind of helps you like break a sweat and stuff. I'm not sure if I believe that, but you know, tastes pretty good though. Alright, so it's 11-11 now. About to start this workout. Finally, I'm outside so I can talk a little louder. There's only one place you can throw these ones away at. And I'm pretty sure it's this one because it says aluminum. Ooh, bam. Yeah, we, uh, we, if you want to throw like your aluminum cans inside, you gotta walk outside just to uh, throw it away. One of, the, one of the teachers, or my supervisor actually, who sits like right behind me or diagonally behind me, he has like like the coffee cans over here, if you buy them, they're in aluminum bottles. And uh, he literally he has like 20 just under his desk and he showed me one time and I was like, why do you have so many cans right here? And he's like, oh, I just haven't taken the time to uh, take them all downstairs and throw them away. So it's kind of funny. Anyways, here we go, training room. All right, we got here the machine fuel BCAs watermelon flavor this stuff tastes pretty good tastes pretty good doesn't taste like overly sugary I mean they, they don't have sugar anyways but it doesn't taste like overly sweet I think it just tastes tastes pretty good I like the MTS machine fuel watermelon flavor better than the cell uh, alpha amino watermelon flavor by a lot all right, all suited up and booted up. So, time to start. This is probably gonna be a long one because it's a shoulder and bicep. Shoulder, traps, and bicep day. Normally it takes a while because there's so many exercises. But uh, here we go. Oh, all right guys, so I ain't even gonna bullshit ya. I ain't even gonna bullshit ya. I just did shoulders and traps and I feel like I'm just gonna die. Like, I don't know why. Might be because I went to sleep a little late last night. Maybe because yesterday's like intense deadlift session is killing me. I have no idea. I don't know why. But the point is, Instead of finishing off and doing biceps right now when I feel like death, I'm just gonna take a break, go eat lunch, take a little rest, and then come back and do biceps and cardio later. So, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna bullshit you guys. Like, I, I feel terrible. It was a, it's been a while since I've had a workout like, it's felt like this shitty, but, you know, whatever. So, check this out for lunch. We got one thing of SMB rice. Where's this thing? 200 grams. 292 calories, 5.2 protein, 0.8 fat, 66 carbs. Meet this and in this box. In this box. We have another box. <laughs> this is the only way to save space. Oh my gosh. Put it upside down. And this is the curry that I made yesterday. So, uh, quick curry that I made yesterday with 8.5 ounces chicken added in. Flashback! Tomorrow I'm gonna do a full day of eating video once again. So let me show you because uh, the problem with this video is I'm pretty low on calories right now so I'm not eating like so much so you're not seeing like a million meals and I'm preparing a lot. Of and I'm preparing a lot of foods like in advance just so I can have lunch like you know the Japanese bento thing so right here I have prepared some goya which uh, in English is bitter melon bitter melon curry Okinawa style bitter melon curry and I've add all the chicken in here I've added it it is 8.5 ounces of chicken chicken tenderloin chicken tenderloin to be exact 
So that is that. Let me show you the macros on this just, just in advance. I'm not sure when I'm going to use this clip, but this is it. This is the Okinawa Goya Curry. So it's like the bitter melon guy. See the bitter melon guy? So happy because you're about to eat him. And this whole thing is uh, for every 100 cal for every 100 grams, 89 calories, 2.5 protein, 3 fats, and 12.9 carbs. But there's 180 grams, so you gotta multiply all these numbers by 1.8. And I'll show you tomorrow, but just just uh, let you know what curry I'm using. I'm using this Okinawa bitter melon curry plus the chicken breast, and that's all this is right now. But this is gonna be tomorrow's lunch. Alright, so this rice is all warmed up. We're gonna put it in this big, big uh, container. And then we're gonna put the curry on top once it's done heating up. Alright, so here it is. Check it out, it looks pretty good, right? The rice on the bottom, curry on top. It's like chicken, potatoes, carrots, bitter melon, Okinawa style, baby. Alright, guys. Alright guys, check this out. This is pretty ridiculous. So, uh, <laughs> um, my JT, my supervisor asked me a question over here. He's saying, uh, you know, what's the right answer? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Okay. Uh, number two, I ought to or used to. Oh my gosh. The battery died. So back to what I was saying. Number two right here. I ought to or used to get a good grade in the exam because I study very hard. Alright guys, what do you think the answer is? I ought to get a good grade in the exam or I used to get a good grade in the exam? because I study very hard. Clearly, the answer is I ought to get a good grade in the exam because I study very hard. But when I uh, when I told my supervisor that the answer is ought to, he was like, yeah, that's what I think too. But uh, the book says the answer is I used to get a good grade in the exam because I study very hard, which doesn't make sense at all because used to is like a past tense thing and get a good grade in the exam. Because I study very hard, it's kind of like a future, like you don't know what's happening yet. Anyways, whatever. Point is, it's clearly wrong. The answer is I ought to. And my uh, supervisor also thought so. And he was like, uh, he was like, he was like, oh, I'm gonna call the company. I'm gonna call the company. And uh, you know, in America, if a teacher, if we find mistakes, we're, we're always saying, like, oh, we're gonna call the company. But it's kind of like a joke. We, ne we don't really call them. He immediately got on the telephone <laughs> and called the company. And then, uh, Talk to them and they were like, oh, you're right. So, so we did it. Thomas and uh, I'm not going to say his name, but H Sensei <laughs> have corrected the book. That's hilarious. Uh, Alright guys, so I'm at home. It's 5.30. Just took a shower. Took a little rinse. Not a full shower. So rinse. So I like to wash my hair before I go to sleep. But anyways, just watching a little bit of League of Legends because uh, just chilling right now, just trying to relax. Um, did some biceps and cardio to finish it off. So like I said earlier, I felt terrible. I felt like I was gonna, like, I felt like I was gonna pass out. I'm not sure what the deal is, but uh, one thing that I did notice that it is super the the air in the gym, the training room right now is super heavy because it is it's like 100% humidity outside right now. And the air is just super heavy and stagnant. So, I don't know. Yesterday, as soon as I walked into the training room, I like I got dizzy. I was like, whoa, what the heck? But, uh, anyways, right now I'm going to take. A, I'm gonna have a little snack. You see this? Parm, Morinaga Parm, cappuccino flavor ice cream bar. These are actually pretty ridiculous in macros. Check this out. So, I'm going to have one of these. And the macros for one ice cream. Oh, for one ice cream is 130 calories, 1.4 protein, 8.6 fats, and 11.7 carbs. So super low on uh, carbs. So I'm gonna have one of these right now. Check this out guys. Check this out. I got a hell of ice cream. Oh my gosh. Ice cream. Ice cream. That was like frozen sushi. Here it is. These are actually, these are really small, but you know. Whatever. Still gonna be good. So this is what it looks like. Check it out. A Parm cappuccino bar. It's very small though. Here's my phone. And here's the ice cream bar. So, uh, yeah, pretty small, but you know. Take what you can get. You see, like, focus for a second. Oh, there it is. Oh, oh. Let's take a bite. Here we go. Let's see what it tastes like. Mm. Mm. 
Mmm, yeah, it's pretty creamy. It's pretty creamy. This is pretty good. Wow. Not bad at all. Holy crap, guys. I was taking some trash outside and check this out. Check this out. This is hilarious. Alright. I was taking some trash outside and look at this. Look what I find. Look what I find on my garbage bag. Oh, little frog. Hey there, little frog. What you doing? What you doing? Can I take an aesthetic as fuck picture of you? Alright, we're gonna do it. Here we go. Look at this guy just chilling here. <laughs> Look at this. Holy moly. You guys are getting a good view of the frog. Dude, he doesn't, he's not even scared. Look, he's just sitting there. Chilling. He's got like flies on his back and he's still not moving. But he's alive because you can see the bubble under his throat moving. That's so cool. Okay, so if you remember last week, I bought like a crap ton of curry, right? And I said I was going to try them all and let you know which ones I like the best. Just because they might be in America, I don't know, whatever. It's just kind of interesting for me. But anyways, I pretty much ate all of them. Um, and so today I went to the grocery store and I restocked on curry and I got almost all different kinds. So check this out. Boom! We got the, uh, the, uh, the ground or like pulled. I mean, it says pulled, but it's like ground ground beef and vegetable curry right here. I don't know what this one is. It says Moja, Mo Moja curry and it's got this dude on it. So this one's like a like an onion curry. I repeat repeat this one because spoiler alert this one was the best. This one was so good but it's got a lot of fat in it so this is a dry curry. Right here we got a European style curry with beef and mushroom. Over here we got a vegetable curry, and right here Kobe Kobe wine curry. So that's gonna be very interesting. So these are the ones I'm gonna try in this upcoming week. But let me show you what I thought about last week's. <laughs> I got a, I got a picture of last week's curries right here. Check this out. Hopefully you can see, even though it's on my computer. So can you see my mouse? There's my mouse. Hey, hello, hello. So the best one. I'll use my finger. The best one was this green Thai green curry so I bought it again because this thing is this tastes like straight out of a Thai restaurant or something like that it's very good second place I'm gonna do top three this is the best one Thai curry second place would probably be this black curry right here I showed you this one this is actually really good it, it doesn't like there's a very distinct taste to Japanese curry and this one like it has a little bit of it but it's got this like it just tastes different. It tastes, it tastes robust. But as you can see, look at this. It's like for boys. I don't know why it says that, but uh, yeah. But it was, this one was really good. And then third place, third place, hmm. Third place would probably be, I'd say a tie between this Thai Masaman curry and this Okinawa curry that I had for lunch. This tastes very like. It's like a very li it's pretty light yet spicy and it's got the bitter melon and it's kind of interesting. It's it's like it's very different. This one doesn't taste like typical Japanese curry at all. And then this is Masaman Thai curry. This one was like got peanuts and stuff in it. It's also very good but very high in fat. Um, but yeah. Green curry was the best. Let's see if any of these ones can top the green curry in this upcoming week. I am very excited about this. Oh, and keep in mind though, like I'm adding chicken to all of these, so pretty much if the flavor is not strong enough in the curry to uh, compensate for the chicken that I'm adding, then that factors into my judgment. The green curry though is just amazing. Hey man, you the best. All right guys, so moving on to the final meal of the day. Well actually, I have like a little snack after this. Well, I guess it's part of the final meal, but anyways, we're gonna do this Kima curry, this is the spicy Kima curry, level 6, and uh, the whole package is 180 grams, and as you can see for 180 grams, it's 132 calories, 7.1 protein, 5.2 fats, and 14.3 carbohydrates. And so I'm going to put this curry in the pan, heat it up, and uh, add some water, because I'm going to dump all this chicken in there. This is nine ounces of chicken that I cooked. It's just uh, chicken tenderloins, you know, I just uh, put cayenne pepper, black pepper, and salt on it, and then chopped it up, and I'm gonna be putting it in this curry. And then with the curry, I will be eating 
right here. I got the pack, same package rice that you saw for lunch. I have this is half a pack left because I ate half of it yesterday, and then we're gonna do another full pack right here. So this is like the larger amount of carbs for dinner, and then the curry. And I'll show you what it looks like when I finish. It's gonna look nice. It's gonna look nice. All right. So real quick, the thing is, if you buy these boxes, see the boxes are the pre-made curries, and uh, look at this. It just looks like this. It's not much you know, to it. It's just that. And that's what the keema curry looks like originally. And if I were to dump all this chicken in there, obviously there would not be enough liquid for the chicken to absorb. So that's why I add some water. Take some water, pour it in there. Oh, okay. And then you dump the chicken in there after it's all... It looks, it looks pretty gross right now, but trust me, that's how you do it. Then you add that in. And once you stir it all up, once you stir it all up, there's like a, of course there's a lot of excess water in there, but as it heats up, here watch, as you, as you stir it up, there's a lot of excess water, but as, um, as it heats up and cooks or whatever, the water will evaporate and uh, the sauces of the curry and stuff like that, the flavor is going to soak into the chicken and then the chicken becomes very like tender and juicy um, when you do this, so it's pretty cool, or I don't know if it's juicy, but it's like tender. It's very tender chicken. It's not hard or... I don't know how to describe it. Stringy, tough. Tough. Yeah, that's a good one. It's not tough. It's very easy to eat. So just put it over here. Let it... Let it uh, boil a bit. And then put it on low and wait until the, uh, the most of the liquid is gone. Or the excess water is gone. Alright, so here is the finished product. Look at that. Oh my goodness. The curry with chicken and then the green onions on top just for extra flavor. And for some, you know, a little bit of nutrients. Looks very delicious. Alright, so, random, random news, but I just got some uh, no-show Nike socks delivered to me by Amazon. Um, it's kind of funny because the mailman who delivers the Amazon stuff, it's always the same guy. And this time he was, he was like, man, you get a lot of packages, don't you? And I'm just like, yeah, I'm addicted to I may or may not be addicted to Amazon. But anyways, last last thing of the night, and it's only like 7.25, but this is going to finish off my macros for today. It's a rum raisin, 80 calorie ice cream. And I've already had this. It tastes pretty good. It tastes, it tastes a lot like, uh, what, it tastes a lot like... You know, the, the alcohol flavor is like in there, which is pretty crazy. Um, but, you know, it's kind of surprising in Japan. Like, they're not very concerned about the whole dieting or nutrition thing because, you know, like in America, we have so many, like, you know, sugar reduced or fat free, lower fat reduced, whatever, like ice cream, cheese, milk, whatever. In Japan, like, they don't have that many, like, they don't have very many, um, like, low-fat ice creams or sugar-reduced whatever. They have, like, no low-fat cheeses. It's all, like, full-fat, so it's kind of hard to get something like this. But look at, because look at the macros on this. 80 calories, 1.9 protein, 4.4 fat, 7.9 carbs. Like, that's pretty good. But it's just, like, very rare to find specifically, like, diet-tailored foods, if that makes sense. You know, like... I kind of I kind of miss that about America how it's like if I want some ice cream or something you know we have like skinny cows we have reduced fat like uh like very low fat cheese no fat cheese stuff like that but can't find that here so I don't get to have cheese and I rarely I don't I don't have to like I have to find a way to fit these like crazy ice creams in or this one's not crazy but yeah so anyways this is gonna do it for me and that's the end of today. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.